Hi viewers, welcome to another tutorial of Amazon Web Services. Today we are going to discuss about the S3. So I have already logged into the AWS console and this is my service window. So today we are going to discuss about the storage. So, uh, uh, many times, uh, you know, people got confused um, EC2 and S3. Uh, EC2, uh, where, where our, we are going to install our operating system, that is a block type, where we are going to install our database, our, you know, uh, servers, um, containers, uh, you know, that is a space where we are going to, you know, creating the virtual machines. Um, so, that is the EC2. Uh, 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 workspace area but uh, s3 is a you know services where we are going to use the flat files it is a doc it is a pdf it is some zip files you are going to you know um, you can say this is a drive where you are going to uh, store the files and whenever you want you can retrieve from there so um, you know that is a exam question also so if it if this is a drive then why not we call this is a folder why we are considering this is a bucket the difference is you know the bucket is in uh, url based so it's a uniform uh, you know uniform resource location so it's uh, accessible quickly accessible so that is uh, how it's a bucket system instead of um, calling it from the uh, folder structure so I had already created one. Let me create one more bucket for you. You need to provide a bucket name. So you can't use capital letter. So I'm going to use capital letter and okay. Now region is you can choose the region by default. you might have noticed here um, it's a global the bucket is always a global level it's not a region level when you are trying to create so if you already created uh, one bucket before uh, where uh, you might have set your permissions your encryption you know all kinds of permission to do that you can inherit from a new bucket So right now we'll start from the press and I just clicked next. It's a visionary. It's a you know version mentioned the uh, server access logging, tags, and object level logging and default uh, encryption and everything is by default disabled. So I logged in with my ID, read, write, permissions, and everything in the bucket is called as an object. So this is, we are going to create a bucket and this is the verification window where you just need to verify and create the bucket. Here our bucket has been created. If you click the bucket here few informations we got it management permissions and what are all those enables and disables for this particular bucket let's uh, you know upload few objects inside the bucket so this is our bucket now i am going to upload a file let's say i am going to upload a file here I can access the permissions and you know all kinds of storage classes. Let's understand what is the storage classes type. This is a standard. This is a standard um, IA. Um, so one zone IA and reduce redundancy. So the main difference is standard is uh, you know um, it's a more accessibility and uh, 
uh, and the standard IA is uh, sometimes it's going to uh, you know it's less accessibility than the standard so it's less cost than the standard one zone AI it is uh, uh, more cheaper the uh, the reason is uh, AI is uh, uh, the reason is uh, we have more availability multiple availability zone on the geographical area but uh, this files what we are going to create and the objects what we are going to store it will only available within the zone the scope would not be um, throughout the globe and so the accessibility will be less so that's why it's a uh, little uh, uh, less costlier and, and uh, this is a redundancy so we'll check for the standard for now the encryption type is by default uh, none but uh, KMS master key and Amazon S3 master key both options are available so metadata and uh, tag you can choose let's say 2000 and KMS 2000 Mouse over here and click uh, the file name. And you can download the copy the path and select them from. This is the permission level. We will look into the permission level. First, let's look into the link here. The copy the path. I can copy the path and paste it here, or I can click the right the link here. So, if you click the link, you can see access denied. Let's go. Okay. So let's go. Why the access has been denied? You can see this is. Um, if you come down, if you look into the permission level. This is the permission and here this is the permission of list objects and the account I think everyone has disabled but uh, if you go back here and if you want to make it uh, publicly accessible then in the more option you need to go down If you choose the everyone, then the public access, everyone will have the access to common. Let's save it. Look at this now, public access. Now I'm going to take it. Here, mark is public. Successful. You can click the link from here. The object has been displayed. Otherwise, if you go back and here, what we had uploaded, you can click from here. The object is now displayed. The same permissions, you know, we are in the object level. Let's uh, exercise the same for the bucket level. Let's see how the bucket looks. Now you can see this is a publicly marked. We are in the bucket level, and here these are the accounts where you can add accounts of a specific user or specific group.
This is the term management where you can manage the bucket life cycle, replication analytics, metrics, and inventory management. So we'll cover these topics a little later. You can upload any non-dynamic which is a static website and this is the you know encryption type if you are using um, server side encryption that is AES-256 and uh, if you are using you know another client side uh, encryption is also available in this AWS object level uh, logging this API activities and here that take tags you can create mm, you can create a tag Assertion and event and request layer. These are a couple of advanced settings, so we'll look into that coming videos. So, this is how uh, the AWS you know bucket you can create. And if you want to delete a bucket or empty a bucket, all the objects, then you just click these uh, you know buttons available here after selecting the bucket name. So this is a short video of the Amazon S3. Thank you.